Ranbir steal from Karina's professional kitty. Kiran Rao admits that her husband Amir has had a fight with Salman. Shayad rescues his Shandar director. 9xc.com, the show, gives you an all-access tour of the Big Boss house. Hey guys, I'm Caitlin and this is 9xc.com, the show. I'm hot, you're not, I'm a superstar, I'm a superstar, 9xc, 9xc, 9xc. Bollywood actors are a powerhouse onto themselves, but when they go and get coupled with a fellow actor who is equally gorgeous, they make a powerhouse couple. And one such couple was Karina Kapoor and Saif Ali Khan. Notice how I said was. When they first came out in the open as a couple, people basically lost their marbles and then things only intensified when they got married in 2012. However, over the years, their star power has waned. Karina's lost her status as a leading heroine and Saif's made bad film choices. Even the movies they've done together have not made much of a mark. So individually and collectively, they are losing their foothold. And as a result of this, they are losing work as well. There is buzz that Karina and Seth might no longer be brand ambassadors of the anti-dandruff shampoo that they once endorsed. Is it because they're losing their charm? Are they no longer hot stuff, so to speak? Or kon lega unki jaga? Believe it or not, there are whispers that Karina's cousin Ranbir Kapoor will replace the couple. Itna hi nahi, it seems that Ranbir is being offered more money than Katrina and Saif were given as a couple. Will Ranbir accept the offer? Is a stack of money really thicker than blood? And if Ranbir accepts, how much are you willing to bet that there will be jokes about dandruff being a pest in the Kapoor Khanda? And next on our radar is a story about broken friendships. 9xc.com broke the sensational story about the nasty showdown between Amir Khan and Salman Khan. We told you that at a party thrown by Amir, the two superstars had a heated exchange of words. Amir told Salman he doesn't have to worry about story or screenplay as the audiences just lap up his films. Salman gave it back to Amir, accusing him of not giving his writers and directors credit and worse, labeling him a fake. The two have not addressed the fight, but Amir's wife Kiran Rao exclusively confirmed the incident which 9xc.com told you about. When we asked her about the fight between her husband and his former good friend, she told us... Really, these are grown men. I'm sure whatever issues they have, they can sort out amongst themselves. And I don't think it's anything that uh, um, uh, I personally have any interest in talking about, to be honest. It's a... Uh, um, yeah, let's leave it at that. It's something that I'd rather not comment on. Now that's a mature way of dealing with the situation. I mean, we get it. After all, it's not her fight. But what's Kiran's take on the ugly spat? And how did she find out about it? Did Amir call her and confide everything? I don't know. There's a lot of conjecture. I don't want to add to it. I, I wasn't there. And um, I don't want to... I, I have not read about it. I have been in Punjab where luckily the Tribune does not give you this kind of news. So I heard about it through a friend of mine who told me that it was in the papers and he called me to ask. Well, there you go. Kiran ne khud confirm kiya hai ki Amir aur Salman ke beech issues hai. Hope the two actors sort it out as soon as possible. After all, they have had a great friendship spanning decades. Here is a relationship that has very little hope of surviving. Vikas Bell might be going through a good patch in his professional life, but seems things are going bleak in his personal life. 9xc.com exclusively has it that his wife, Richa Dube Bell, has filed for divorce in the family court, Mumbai. The first hearing was on 3rd July, and the next date will be 28th December. We were also the ones who exclusively told you that Vikas was steadily dating Chaitali Parmar, who co-wrote Vikas's smash hit Queen and is one of the writers on his upcoming Shandar. However, the two had been able to keep their budding relationship under wraps, even though they were spotted together. At that time, our sources had this to say about Richa's reaction to the relationship. It has been tough for Richa and she is somehow dealing with it. 
The couple were living together in Bandra, but the two have parted ways and have lived separately for quite a while. The case has been filed under the Section 13B of the Hindu Marriage Act, divorce by mutual consent. Or aisa hi kuch Anuraka Shep ke saath bhi hua tha. Anurag, who co-founded the production house Phantom Films with Vikas, also got divorced from then-wife Kalki Koshlin just a few days after the release of his highly anticipated Bombay Velvet. It's quite a coincidence that Vikas's movie Shandar is just two weeks away. The legend of Bollywood Amitabh Bachchan celebrated his 73rd birthday yesterday. And like most years this year, he also addressed the media on the special occasion. While the entire nation was celebrating his birthday in a big way, the man himself chose to have a quiet one with family. It was a very important thing that the whole family was with me and they were with me and they were with me and they were with me. The whole family was with me and this is the biggest thing for us to be with us. और ईश्वर की कृपा रही है परिवार ने हमेशा हमारा साथ दिया है बहुत कम अवसर मैंने ऐसे देखे हैं जहां पर मैंने जन्मदिन अकेले मनाया हो हां परिवार हमेशा साथ रहा है माँ बाबू जी जब थे तो उनके साथ मनाना था और बस सुबह से प्रतीक्षा गए थे माँ बाबू जी का आशीर्वाद लेने और अब यहाँ गए सो वॉट डिड द फेमस फैमिली गिफ्ट द सुपर स्टार They have um, expressed their love and affection and I don't think that there's anything uh, greater and bigger than that for anybody. No amount of material gift can replace love and affection of family members. But what does Mr. Bachchan, who has everything, want for himself this birthday? Well, age has not diminished his sense of humor. He hasn't lost his humility either. Mr. Bachchan wholeheartedly thanked everyone for their love and support. मैं तो केवल ईश्वर को धन्यवाद देता हूं और अपने चाहने वालों को धन्यवाद देता हूं कि वो आज भी अपना स्नेह और प्यार दिखाने के लिए 11 अक्टूबर को आ जाते हैं और मैं क्या कहूं कृतज्ञ हूं मैं उनका आशीर्वाद मिलता रहता है मुझे ही इज विशिंग बच्चन साहब अ वेरी हैप्पी बर्थडे एंड अ ग्रेट ईयर है Coming up, Shahid is director Vikas's savior. 9xc.com the show takes you on a tour of the Big Boss house. Welcome back to 9xc.com the show. Earlier in the episode, we told you about Shandar director Vikas Bell's impending divorce and now we've got more on him. Like you exclusively read on 9xc.com, Vikas went all the way to London to show the film's producer Karan Johar his movie. Karan's feedback was to edit the movie by cutting around 15 minutes, and that's exactly what Vikas did. However, when 9xc.com the show had asked him about this, he had no answer. Clearly, we asked a question from Vikas, but he probably didn't have a tongue in the beach. No, he had a problem with the breadth of the film. We reduced the breadth. Length, he had no issue. सरकमफ्रेंड्स में प्रॉब्लम था थोड़ा। Um, what is that child's idea of humor? Anyway, thank you very much, child. You didn't deny our story, which we carried two episodes ago. Whether length or content, Karan has made changes. But we're not cutting any corners when it comes to showing you around the Big Boss house. Finally, Big Boss वालों ने चुपा चुपी खेलना बंद कर दिया है। They have revealed in detail the inside of the Big Boss Nine house. Nineexc.com the show was one of the few chosen to tour this place. So before you get deep into the season, check out this colorful floral house that's going to be the hub of controversies. Hey guys, I'm Hunilam, your Big Boss guide. Yes, of course, Big Boss's house is very complicated. So in this house, you have to learn the need to learn the Raju guide. So let's go! Big Boss is going green this time. And in Big Boss's house, there is always greenery. But this time, the greenery is looking at the greenery. There are also all the floral paintings on the wall. The whole theme is floral and greenery. Nature is nature on every side. Every house says something. And Big Boss's house says something very much. This time, the theme is double trouble. That means that every contestant 
किसी एक कंटेस्टेंट के साथ घर में कोई ना कोई राइवलरी कोई ना कोई हिस्ट्री जरूर है यानी कि घर के अंदर पहुंचते ही कोई ना कोई फसाद कोई ना कोई कंट्रोवर्सी होने वाली है ये है किचन यहाँ पर सबसे ज्यादा किचन पॉलिटिक्स होती है दाल के लिए आग कम जलाई जाती है दिल में आग ज्यादा लगती है यहाँ पर सबसे ज्यादा कैट फाइट होती है और ये है घर का सबसे इंटरेस्टिंग एरिया बेडरूम सबसे ज्यादा गॉसिप यहीं पर होती है सारा एक्शन यहीं पर होता है लेकिन सबसे ज्यादा गेम प्लान होते हैं लाइट स्विच ऑफ हो जाने के बाद ये है रेस्ट रूम का एरिया यहाँ पर सबसे ज्यादा बोल्ड कारनामे होते हैं ड्राइंड्रा गौतम वीना एशमित याद है और फिर यहाँ का तो कलर थीम भी रेड है कलर ऑफ पैशन द मोर आई थिंक ऑफ इट द मोर आई लाइक इट So why should Salman Khan have all the fun? थोड़ा सा यहाँ का first hand experience हमने भी ले लिया अब हम तो यहाँ से चले over to the contestants. From that piece, here is our next story. Kalpana Lazmi is definitely putting up a spirited fight against her health issues, and the fiery filmmaker spoke exclusively to us about how she is faring with cancer of the kidney. Last episode, Nine Xe dot com. The show told you about how people from the film industry, including Amir Khan and Kiran Rao, director Ashok Pandit, and writer director Vinta Nanda, have rallied around Kalpana in her hour of need. Though she maintained that she hasn't asked anyone for monetary help, Kalpana confirmed that she has received help from the industry. I have not asked anyone for money in my life. I will still not do it, and I will not do it in the future. If you are very kind enough and you come and offer me and I'm down and out, I'll accept it. But if I'm working and earning my own money, why the hell would I accept it? This has come not because of Amir Khan. Please stop overreacting because he's a film star. He came forward thanks to Ashok Pandit being the president of IFDA. There is a clause in IFDA that all other existing directors in IFDA should reach out to help their poorer and in problem members they did that for baburam ishara so when vintananda went to ashok pandit and told him he approached everyone it's not that he approached only amir he approached everyone and amir and rohit were kind enough to initiate the process now he is moving around and trying to speak to others to form a corpus fund and that will continue until and unless i actually need it Updating us on her current health scenario, she said, "From February this year, I've been very, very ill, yeah, but I have recovered now. Uh, I'm on my way to recovery. I was operated three months back, and I've recovered from the operation fully." When we asked her how she was diagnosed, Kalpana told us, "Because I started getting severe diarrhea, low fever, and it, nothing was stopping. So I thought something was wrong with my stomach. So we did all the tests there to see." Then suddenly my urine stopped one day. So we just did an ordinary sonography, and then they found out there's a cyst on my kidney. Kalpana's mother, renowned painter Lalita Lazmi, is now taking care of her. She said the Rudali director has to follow a strict diet to ensure that her health does not fail. I'm eating like see, I can eat cabbage, cauliflower, beans. Uh, I can eat fish. I can eat chicken. Hmm. I can have stew. And in the end, Kalpana signed off by wondering why the ailment struck her now and not later in life. I'm very young. No, no. In fact, it's come as a shock to me that I got it so young. It should have happened to me when I'm 82, not at 60. And 60 is the beginning of life because that's when we get wise. We wish Kalpana all the strength she needs to get through this difficult phase in her life. Coming up, 9XC exclusive. Watch out for Anushka Ranjan. Gulam Ali addresses singer Abhijit Bhattacharya's comments against him. This is 9xc.com the show where we bring you the latest, hottest and most interesting Bollywood news and gossip. Next up is our exclusive chat with Anushka Ranjan who is all set to grace the big screen in the romantic comedy Wedding Pulao. The movie will also see the directorial debut of cinematographer Binod Pradhan. 24-year-old Anushka is a former model and has a background in Bollywood. She is actor producer Sashi Ranjan's daughter, so watch out for Anushka Ranjan. Name Anushka Ranjan. Occupation actor. Age 24. Big break wedding pulao. Just we were sitting and chit chatting and my dad has a habit of just like throwing ideas at me for like scripts and all of our life we've done that or scenes. 
so, and he makes us do diction pieces. He just like always made us rehearse like that. And one day he sat with me and he started narrating a story. You know, it started like becoming intriguing. I was like, yeah, this girl sounds a lot like me. And then he started telling me, okay, do this piece, shoot yourself, you know, do these scenes, and let me know what is happening. And then it was my birthday uh, after a month, and uh, he comes with the director, and he, they give me a an, an envelope and say, this is your uh, contract, your signing amount, and we'd like to make a film with you. So it's a very simple, sweet love story of two friends who are getting uh, married at the same time at a destination wedding and how at the destination things go a little haywire for both of them in their respective relationships. And the character I'm playing is called Anushka as well in the film. She's an exaggerated version of me, I believe. He was always happy. I guess when you've just been born and brought up in an environment where you only see actors or directors or producers, there's no taboo surrounding any of these uh, occupations as such. It's nothing, like every film has it. May it be something more on the artsy line, maybe something super commercial, everywhere there's kissing. So I think I have to make my peace with that. <laughs> so I don't have a choice. I've actually worn a swimsuit in this film as well. If I have the body, I'll flaunt it, why not? In today's time, I honestly look up to Karina and Deepika because I've seen Deepika's journey, obviously all of us have, and it just showed how much she grew over the period of time. She didn't get lazy because she became Deepika Padukone, she became better with the film she was doing. seen them act like my sister and she would love playing actor actor at home so they'd pick up she, she used to imitate Mahesh uncle and she used to imitate people like you know do a little bit of uh, she used to imitate Mahesh uncle a lot then uh, Shatru uncle he used, she used to imitate yeah and then she would like pick up scenes and actresses and everything Karina Kapoor she would love to imitate and everything so I've seen her doing this always so I knew she had it in her and she would be good at it like and she's proved us all right Oh, I am dying for that. Like, honestly, I want to see what can people say because I've always loved to hear what people have to say about me. It's just very like, intriguing to me. I don't know, it's a little weird. In other news, celebrated singer Gulam Ali faced trouble a few days ago when the Shiv Sena decided to protest against his concerts in Mumbai and Pune, using the age-old line that they will not allow any ties with Pakistan. Nanixi.com told you that after the Ghulam Ali Shiv Sena dilemma, Delhi Culture Minister Kapil Mishra expressed his sadness over the cancellation of the concert and even invited Ghulam Ali to perform in Delhi. Sad that hashtag Ghulam Ali is not being allowed in Mumbai. I invite him to come to Delhi and do the concert. Music has no boundaries. Hashtag ban the ban. Later, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal confirmed that his government had invited Ghulam Ali to perform in Delhi. Ghulam Ali Sahib. हम आपके बहुत बड़े फैन हैं। अभी आपसे बात करके बहुत अच्छा लगा। Thanks for agreeing to do a program in Delhi in December. While Gulam Ali expressed his sadness over the concerts being cancelled, he seemed quite excited about the idea of performing in Delhi. He told 9xc.com the show over the phone, "GG, I am definitely considering flying down to Delhi." Gulam Ali also responded to the news of singer Abhijit Bhattacharya branding him a dengue singer from a terrorist country. He said. That's sad. I'm going to look up and find what other people are writing about me as well. But don't you think that a singer should respect another singer? And that's a wrap on this episode of 9xc.com The Show. But for more Bollywood gossip and news, visit our website 9xc.com. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash 9xc and Twitter at 9xc The Show. You can also view our entire episodes on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to download the free 9xc app for iOS and Android. I'll see you guys on Wednesday, but before I go, I have a 9XC Frames moment for you. We spotted Sushant Singh Rajput and Kiara Advani on a romantic outing in Aurangabad for the MS Dhoni biopic. Well, Sushant's gone for a complete look change after his last outing as a detective. But do you think that Sushant and Kiara look good together as Dhoni and his wife Sakshi? 